Hello everybody, it's Anne. Thank you so much for joining me today. And let me apologize in advance if you hear dogs playing in the background because they just won't settle down today. So I have this Swiss Champ. I love the Swiss Champ. I would carry it all the time if I could, but it is big. It is so enormously big. And uh, that makes it hard to carry. If you are in a similar situation, you love the Swiss Champ, but it's just too big to carry, then maybe I've got a couple ideas for you. So I've already talked, well, let me just back up a little bit here. I have out here all of the tools that I honestly use regularly. And this has changed a little bit since the last time I discussed this because I use a lot more things regularly than what I used before. I've got the file, which I use as a nail file only. I do really love having the magnifying glass I mostly use the small blade for tasks, but I love having this large blade available when there is something that uh, needs to be cut that uh, I really want a nice, sharp, good knife for. It dulls so quickly, I think it's hard to plan on this little knife being sharp since I use it all the time. I use the cap lifter both as a cap lifter and a screwdriver and also a little bit of a scraper. Um, we've got the saw, which I use all the time, of course. The scissors which I use really a lot. I used uh, the scissors for all of my Christmas present wrapping this year for the most part. It was just in my pocket and right ready to go. I didn't have to go get the scissors. It was easy. And then I do use this fish scaler not for scaling fish but for measuring things and for poking things that I do not want to touch with my fingers. And then the, <laughs> the corkscrew. I really think I only use the corkscrew because it is more fun to open a bottle of wine with your Swiss army knife than with any other product out there. It's just more cool. So I guess I wouldn't say that's something that I need. I do use the pen so much you wouldn't believe it. People always laugh when I pull it out, but hey, they didn't have a pen at all. That's why they were asking me for it. And then the tweezers I use a whole lot. Okay, so how was I going to replace this? You know, if you watch this channel, you know I got the Evolution 23. It has quite a few of these tools, and I continue to love, really love this knife. However, I don't carry it that much because while it is, let me kind of bring them in here. Now that they're all open, it's like holding two porcupines together. So it is quite a bit smaller. It's both shorter and narrower than the Swiss Champ. But honestly, it is not shorter or narrower enough to make it something that I can easily put in my pocket. So even though it is a better choice, it didn't really solve my problem of something I can easily carry with me. Now, this first solution I'm proposing is not actually one that I've taken up here. So here I have the Mini Champ. The Mini Champ is a really great knife. It has most of the things that I want. Obviously, no corkscrew, wood saw, or magnifying glass. But it does have quite a few things, including two blades, scissors, cap lifter. Um, actually, it has a ruler, which the Evolution 23 doesn't have. A pretty good nail file with the nail cleaner tip, which I love. So this, I would think, oh, and the pen. I just love this pen. I'm sure you've seen this before, but people who want to get the Alox version of this are going to be missing out on this cool pen. And uh, it works with this little slider here. And when you open up the spatula, medical spatula, whatever they call it. Um, it actually is a reasonably sized item to write with, um, or I guess any of the tools down here. So I, I, the reason I didn't pick this is because it is, I don't want to say it's too small, but I, I don't love having this teeny tiny knife. It doesn't feel sturdy. I feel like I can't cut things with it that I want to. And in fact, a um, similar sized Swiss Army knife did kind of fail me on just some tags on a toy that I had gotten for someone. So, you know, um, if you can't even cut tags, I'm not, or the little plastic ties, I'm not thinking that it's really meeting what I'm looking for all the time. Although, man, for compactness, it is a fantastic choice. And of course, oh yes, it also has the tweezers. Okay, so then I came up with this, and this is actually a really good solution. All right, we've got the Swiss Card Nail Care with really a fantastic, really fantastic nail file here. It does not have a nail cleaner tip, but I guess you'll get over it. This scissors is surprisingly good. It doesn't seem like it gives you a lot to hold on to, but I've actually used this for cutting up lots of paper um, on a little project where you had to make little tags at work and just didn't feel like walking around looking for a scissors since that's not something I use all the time there. Tweezers. Magnifying glass is fantastic and it's always available right when you take it out. There's no time to open it or anything like that. The magnifying glass is right there. 
uh, it has a toothpick, of course. It has the pin that I never use and the pen, which I often use. So if I replace from this Swiss Champ all of these tools, okay, then I don't really need to replace very many others. And it gives me so many choices. And I think I've shown you the Walker before. The Walker is such a great choice for me because it is very, very tiny. But what about when I know I'm not going to use the wood saw, but maybe would prefer to have a corkscrew? Oh my goodness, I bought myself a waiter. This is one svelte little knife. It's like a bantam, but with a corkscrew, I guess. And uh, it is very small. Very small indeed. So if you compare what, so the Swiss card can go in my wallet or my purse. Doesn't make it super easy to get to, but easy enough. Easy enough. I don't think, I mean, it's not, you know, you can't have everything, right? Look at the difference in size here. This is shorter and so, so much smaller. I mean, this is just a fantastic, fantastic um, knife here, this waiter. And uh, also, hardly any bigger at all is the walker. It's, it is an extra layer, but still, it's got the saw, man. You can't, can't blame me for loving it. But also, if you want two blades, enter the uh, Swiss Army 7 or the Harvester. I love this, of course. And then also, you've seen my friend Ranger Grip 79 before. Also, this replaces all of the other things that the Swiss Card Nail Care does not replace for me. So that is my idea for you. If you are somebody who loves the Swiss Champ but does not love trying to carry it with you all the time, go ahead and invest yourself in a Swiss card nail care. They are not inexpensive, but uh, once you do, you are going to be able to have so many options for different Swiss Army knives that you could carry with you. Now, even though I'm proposing this as an option here, I really don't... Uh, I really don't usually do it that way. <laughs> I've found quite a few ways to actually carry these Swiss Champ with me. Some of them are um, maybe more something that you would do if you're a woman uh, based on clothing choices, etc. But some of them are, you know, something that would work for anybody. And I really look forward to making a video for you about all of the different ways I have found to actually carry this uh, giant Swiss Army knife. And now finally, before I go, I have to mention, if you haven't seen the video from uh, Vic Spain, you may want to take a look at that. Vic Spain put out a video talking about a bunch of Swiss Army knives that are going to be discontinued. Now, I didn't see a lot of people talking about this. I heard this from uh, Max Level EDC. But I think it's probably true. Looking through Vic Spain's channel, he seems to have some kind of uh, inside source at Victorinox that's giving him kind of heads up information, including if you look around on his channel, the absolutely, in my opinion, hideous color of Alox knives that are coming out for this year. Anyway, so take a look at Vic Spain if you are interested in that. And thank you so much for joining me today. I'll try to get another video out for you soon talking about these um, Swiss cards because I've got two of them to compare and also how I carry the Swiss champ. Thank you for watching.